he was. Eight months in the Kentucky frontier, trapping and skinning elk. Well along my third bale when they came upon us. No less than a dozen Shawnee hunters had us surrounded at the point of musket and arrow. My bush partner froze up stiff. The fear chilled me the same, but I managed to muster what little Shawnee I was knowing. The leader spoke too quick, but I gathered we was poaching. Having crossed into their territory a month or so hence, their musket barrels stared us down, the heads of their arrows smiling sharp at our backs. I bumbled a proposition and busted Shawnee. Our full piece, my three bales, and my partner's two less a half, in exchange for us quitting the Shawnee bush on our own legs. Leader nods to his boys. They load up our take and start back into the trees. The honcho stays a spell longer, just staring. Staring right through us with his two black eyes. And then he was gone. We picked up, set back east the way we came. Months of profit lost, but our own hides intact. Never saw the Shawnee again, but I know they was following us. I could feel their eyes on our backs, clear to North Carolina. Yama. It stands upright as a man, but its whole body is covered in a thick pelt. Its gait is slow and lurching. I've seen it with my own two eyes. It's clever. Always at a distance, or with something between us, like it knows where I'm gonna be before I get there. Things go missing where it goes, that much is certain. All manner of trinket. It took a man's prize buck antlers clear off his cabin wall. It takes kills out of traps too, wrenching him open with his big mitts. Somebody should find it and bring back its head for the whole world to see.
Hello. You're the chap that was down the hill, yes? Welcome. Care for a leg of venison? Maybe a hen? I have some lovely wine, if you like. A Bordeaux. No, thank you. Who are you, and what is this place? I'm just a man, and this is my home. Doesn't look like much from the outside, but that's sort of the point. Not much of a people person. The locals think you are a demon of some sort. Is that what they're saying now? Probably frustrated on account of my naughty little habit. I take things. I know it's wrong, I do, but I just can't help myself. Thing is, I like my privacy. If I gave you some coin, might you keep my home a secret? I'd be much obliged. I'd been out in the pucker brush for six weeks. Game was scarce in the area, and my belly needed filling, so I broke for the coast and some crab or lobster from the tide pools. That's when I saw it. A lighthouse said to have been abandoned years ago, but there it was, fires a-burning. Then the sound happened. A moaning in the wind. My heart crept up my throat so high I could taste it. Just then... A ten-point buck startled, and I took after it. Got the buck, but never went back to that lighthouse. Spirits in there, I wager, and I'd challenge any man to set foot inside. Crying in the wind. I've heard it. My wife's heard it. It's there. No mistaking it. Spirits. You believe in that? I didn't. If it's not worth my skin, run!
I've never seen him myself, but I've heard the stories from here to Kentucky. A German mercenary, Hessians, what they call him, was fighting a battle when a cannonball took his head clean off. His whole battalion was routed, and they lost the encounter. But the lad didn't die. He's been wandering the bush on horseback around the battlefield ever since, searching for his head, chasing innocents when he sees them, taking their domes for his own. He wears a pumpkin for a head now, until he finds what he's looking for. Like I said, I haven't seen him, but I have seen the bodies he leaves lying about, headless and grotesque. God rest their souls. I'm not one for sailing, but I know it's out there. Some call it a kraken, others just a sea monster. They say it's 50 feet long if it's an inch, and it rolls ships for sport. You won't find me on the high seas searching for the beast. That's a guarantee I can give you, but it's a riddle that needs solving. After hours I seen the serpent. The thing was horrifying. Where was it? Just out past the break. <laughs> you seen the serpent? You bet your hours I seen the serpent. The thing was horrifying. Where was it? Just out past the breakwater. Came up to the surface to have a look, then plunged right back down again. The parts I saw was 30 feet. Who knows how much remained underwater? Jack's say there's an old man that's always around when the beast appears. Jack say a lot of things. But this be one, I believe. They say he commands the thing. Some old man ordering a cracking about? What a bunch of fluff. Then I mate. A lot of men I trust spend the same yarn. Of their labor this Saturday, as the schoolhouse is in need of much restoration. You hear the serpent weaver died. The old thief's buried not far from here. Man was a polite, good riddance. The old fellow people said called the crack and bought the farm not long ago. Nobody's seen the beast since. So it was true then. Didn't say that. Maybe you could ask his widow. She won't leave his grave. You come to pay your respects. You're the first. He didn't have many friends. People just didn't understand. He was a good trader, a good husband. I never wanted for anything.
The first time I saw the light was back in Boston. I was trading my biggest take of the season when the fire rose behind Beacon Hill. Went straight up in the night sky, past the moon. Then it was gone. I wasn't alone. Those next to me had their heads cocked the same, craned as far back as it could go, mouths that gape. Couldn't tell you what it was, but I can tell you it wasn't of this earth. 